My name is Charles Michael Yunker. I highest rank in the Navy was Raiderman Second Class E5. Later I served uh, in the Kansas National Guard and attained the rank of E6. We went to uh, head for the uh, Pacific in Vietnam in January of 1968. My first night at sea, I wound up being the CIC watch on the bridge for about an hour, and it's the closest I ever came to being seasick. And it's funny to me. I was in, on the bridge, and there's nothing for me to do. We didn't have any radar contacts, and I was leaning up against the bulkhead and just kind of daydreaming, looking out a porthole on a bridge. Uh, very few portholes on the bridge, but there is one right where I was standing. I'm just watching the horizon go up and down, up and down very slowly. I'm just kind of daydreaming, and all of a sudden I start feeling nauseous. And I'm like, what the hell? And I stood up and I, I was fine, but that's the closest I ever came to getting seasick. But I never will forget that thought, and that was funny. But uh, about three fourths of the way there, the USS Pueblo was captured by the North Koreans, and so the Yorktown and its uh, destroyer escorts went lights out, and the radars were shut down, except for the Pathfinder. We went around the northern uh, uh, area of Japan into the Sea of Japan, and uh, settled in in the Sea of Japan in uh, late. January and throughout February into early March, if I remember correctly. And it was extremely cold. And a lot of things that you kind of want to laugh about now, but at the time it was miserable. It got up to minus 13 degrees one day, and guys were taking their foul weather gear off because that was a heat wave. It was usually around 30 degrees or below. It was a very, very tense time. We were barely on station, and uh, we got a flyover by a couple of Russian bear bombers with their bomb bay doors open. And the Navy scrambled some jets out of uh, Japan, and they bumped wings and canopies and kind of pushed them out of the area. It was just basically a show of force, and left a couple of bulls in a pasture kind of bluff at each other. There was, uh, from what I understand, there was more traffic of submarines under the water from different navies than there were above, than there were surface ships for a little bit. So this is a very intense, uh, intense time. And that's, I knew a kid on the uh, Pueblo, not very well, but I knew of him. He was, his hometown is about 24 miles east of my hometown. Um, so, I feel so very sorry for those guys and everything they went through, but uh, it's kind of a trivia question. Everybody knows that old Ironside, the Constitution is the Navy's oldest uh, commission ship. The second oldest one is the Pueblo. And a lot of people don't realize that because we never did decommission it.